Christmas, Greg. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, it's not, is it? It is Christmas Eve. It's tomorrow. Coming up on this very Christmassy Christmas Eve episode, Greg, we are talking festive fun facts. Well, we are actually going to do them we're this doing week. This week right, yeah. uh, more Christmas TV. Yeah. And Jason's quick Christmas comedy clip. That's easy for me to say. That's new, isn't it? And Turbo Boost of the Week. Yep, it's a special one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, so, we better make this a quick one because it's Christmas Eve. I oh, know. Uh, Have you wrapped all your presents? Well, speaking of wrapping up presents, Jason, I was in Pound Stretch again, your Christmas presents. And while I was there getting it, I uh, I came across this in there. Oh days. my god, Greg, that's uh, phenomenal. This isn't your present, by the way. Oh. But I had to buy it because I cannot believe a new shop has got an old thing. Is Fraggle Rock coming back? It must be. Open it. Fraggle Rock, 500 super sick. Super. Can you say it? 500 super sticker set. I'll just have some more vodka. Greg, how much was that? Reduced to what? From 4 99 to 2 99 I'd have paid 4 99 I would. Open it. Oh, what do you want me to do with it? Open it. Let's have a look. Start putting stickers around everywhere. Yeah. I can't believe it. Fraggle Rocks. Amazing. In Poundland. Oh, Pound Stretcher. Uh, other Pound Shops are available. There you go, mate. I'll speak. Oh, look at that. Make a scene. You do that quite often, don't you, Greg? Make a speed. There we go. Look at all the stickers. you got them glowy stickers. These are fridge magnets, I think. Fridge magnet. Oh, no. This gets better. <gasps> You've got, like, Fraggle Rock backgrounds to stick the stickers on to make Fraggle Rock scenes of your oh, own. Oh, look! It's the garden! The, the garden. What? The, where's, is Marjorie in here? Trash heap. Oh, man. That's brilliant. That's the same as the first one. Oh, they've just repeated, oh, they've them. repeated them. That's where you used to go down in the lighter. That's where they, oh, they call the good. gorks. Look, man, I caught a fuego. That's that? the worst impression they ever made. No, it wasn't. Uh, and they've got 3D stickers here. They've well, got action stickers. Oh, what we're going to be doing after we finish this, don't you, Greg? Yeah, pub. So, it's Christmas Eve. I know. <clears throat> you might have found that Fraggle Rock thing, but wait till you see what I found. Oh, yes. TV Times, 1987, special Christmas double bumper issue. <laughs> and TV Times, 1988, special Christmas bumper issue. And look what it says there, Greg. Don't miss... Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters was the big premiere in 1988. Greg, so it took two years for the ITV to get it then? Well, it came out in 84, so, so it took four years. Four years, Four that's years, what. yeah. So, I've got these. So, <laughs> I've got these, Greg, and I've also got this year's Radio Times. Now, we should explain that in 1987 and 1988... Yes, this is very interesting. This very interesting. In this. order to know what was on all of the channels, you had to buy the TV Times and the Radio Times, because the TV Times only had Central and Channel 4 listings. Central, right? basically, ITV. And the Radio Times only had the BBC listings in it. Why did they ever do that? Because this was, I think it was a BBC owned publication at the time. Yeah, but it, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Who knows, but the central means more to us because that was our TV area, wasn't it, Greg? Yes. Yours might have been Yorkshire TV or Anglian or something like that. I'd just like to point out, <sighs> that's not the joke this week. Um, the price. How much were those, Greg? Well, the TV times in, the 20th of December, 1987, was 64 pence. All right. And it's quite thick for that. Well, this oh, wait, Radio wait, Times... Wait, 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 the TV Times in 1987... No, oh, 88. Oh, 88, sorry, was 74 pence. It went up 10p. So, so, what's so yours now? The Radio Times that I bought this year, Greg, Yeah. was £4.50. <laughs> Four pound fifty. Four fifty. And all you need to do is go on the internet and find out what's on. But as we've got both of these, shall we compare listings for Christmas Eve, Greg, for today? Which what year do you want? Go for that one first, and then we'll have a look at the other one. What we're we looking for? Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. 
What can I just say? It's all in black and white. Yeah, and the, the adverts. Well, you need to show a couple of pages. Well, I will do in a minute. Oh, all right, Pen. There's a uh, just good friends. Oh, yeah. Some Pen. Right, Pen. Adverts here. Christmas Eve. Got it? Yes. So, so, can you tell me what was on Christmas Eve on BBC One on Christmas on Christmas Eve morning? I can't really do that, can I? No, you can't, can <laughs> you? got ITV and Channel 4 in. I can tell you what's on uh, ITV. Go on, then. What, in the, in the morning? Christmas Eve morning. Oh, OK, right, here we go. ITV. 6.15am, Christmas Eve. Good morning, Britain. You what? Good morning, Britain. I remember that. Then, we've got... Uh, oh, by the way, in Good Morning Britain, Jason, featuring Gordon Honeycomb, uh, Wincy Willis, of course. Wincy Willis. Uh, and Wackaday starts at 9 o'clock until 9.25. It's Saturday, no school today, so what's she gonna do? Join Timmy Mallet. That's what it says. What about uh, Michaela? No, I'm saying about her. I was in love with her. What was your... What's on at... Uh, well... What's on? Uh, what well, that goes to half past nine. Well, have you got like a full proper listing in that for the day? Yes, of course. So let's show that to the camera, Greg. Right. Well, look at this. That I paid four pound fifty four. Bear in mind that was seventy four p. The daytime for all of the channels is just listed in that little column there. Doesn't yeah. actually start until evening in the proper listings. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you've got full listings that start in the morning, and you've got proper descriptions. Oh, yeah, this, all this day, all this page here is just for the morning. Yeah, the morning, daytime, for all the channels, is just in that little column in this one. Oh, they don't even tell. Oh, I see. It starts at £4.20 4 over there. Four Not £4.20, four twenty. So, anyway, daytime, ITV. 6am, CITV. 8.25, Weekend at Christmas, with Catherine Parkinson... Craig Charles, Mark Benton, and Pixie Geldof. Uh, 9.25, Thunderbirds Argo. 9.50, The Chase. 10.50, You've Been Framed. And you get to 11.20, and there's a film, Despicable Me. That's the evening? No, that's the morning. That sounds terrible. So, what have you got in the evening, Greg? Oh, you're in the evening now? Yeah. Oh, God, you, can't, you, gotta, you need to prepare more for this. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going colour now. We've got colour and black and white. Woo! Okay, here we go. So, 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 four fifteen on Christmas Eve on ITV Super Super Grand Christmas Special. Whoa! I was going to say Super Grand, but it's the Christmas Special. Uh, then it goes into block Blockbusters. Doesn't work, does it? That's at five fifteen. Into Crossroads. Into This Is Your Life Special. Doesn't say Didn't who it's say doing that. No. Seven thirty, Corey. This is where it gets Corrie. interesting. Eight o'clock, Jim Davison in Germany special. Yeah. Uh, and then the movie premiere is Hitchcock's The Trouble with Harry. Oh. A bit of a disappointment now, I say. Uh, Four twenty on Christmas Eve on ITV One this year, Greg is One Hundred and One Dalmatians, the Disney classic. Hmm. Followed by the news mm. and the weather, mm. and then 6.30, it's Blankety Blank, with your host, David Williams. Followed by Coronation Street, Birds of a Feather, and Grandchester. There's no film, it then goes on to Through the Keyhole with Keith Lemon. David Williams? Yeah. He's doing Blankety Blank. It's Christmas Eve, Greg, really? It's a Christmas version. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'll tell you what, Jason. I was hoping... Ooh. I was hoping my present this year would be you not telling a joke. What's this here? <laughs> it's from the magazine. Oh, right. You was what? I hoping that... You wouldn't tell a joke. But go on, get on with it. OK, Jason, here we go. It's, it's effect, it's an illusion. Just Jason... Don't interrupt me. Jason. Yes, Greg. How will Christmas dinner this year be different after Brexit? Political, this one. I don't know. Greg, why will Christmas dinner be different after Brexit? Because this year, there's no Brussels. Again, Greg. It's not very accurate, is it? Because we haven't actually left Europe yet. So there is still Brussels. 
Would you like to see some Christmas commercials? Yes, please. Here you go. Here's a present for everyone doing their Christmas shopping this year. It's big. It's exciting. And once you get into it, you won't be disappointed. Because there's something in it for everyone. With hundreds of different and unusual gifts to choose from, you can wrap up all your Christmas shopping in one. Boots. It's everything you ever wanted for Christmas. Scargill here has found a splendid new shop. Woolworths. Absolutely brimming with Christmas knickknacks. They have a delightful selection of cards, festive bunting galore, tasteful wrapping paper, and charming trees and baubles. Well done, Scargill. But haven't we forgotten something? Crackers. I must be, my lady. Do you remember last week when we promised some festive fun facts at the beginning of the episode and then we, we never did. actually did them? Yeah, we did. We have actually got some festive fun facts this week. Is that these here? Who's writing that? That's mine. I'm going to go first. Are you ready? Mistletoe comes from the Anglo-Saxon word mistletan, which means little dung twig, because the plant spreads through bird droppings. Just remember that when you're having a little snuggle and a kiss under the mistletoe. There could be some bird poo on it. Drip, yeah. Dripping on your head. Yeah. Have you got a festive fun fact, Greg? Well, it's your writing, so I can't read it. Jason, yes. in New Year's gone by... New Year's? Just years, Greg. Oh, sorry. In years gone... It's the writing. In years gone by, it was traditional to tell scary ghost stories on Christmas Eve, and apparently the scarier, the better. Why? I might resurrect that this year. Tell my kids some really scary ghost stories on Christmas Eve. But why was that tradition? I don't know. Why would you want to go to bed scared after hearing stories? When why? Why is? I didn't he... actually finish it. And then change that. Why would it? Why would that? Because I, you'd want to go to bed all excited and. Well, we do, but back right then they didn't. Why? I don't know. Why is turkey tradition? Why do we have Christmas trees? Why do we have mince pies? Why do we give presents? All of these questions. I don't know, Jason. I don't know why. I don't. Especially to people you work with. During Christmas period, Greg, nearly 28 sets of Lego are sold every second. Well, I think that's gone up. Do you? Yeah, because since all these uh, Back to the Future and... Yes! Busters versions have come out, I think they're going to go through the roof. Don't well, you? Why do Americans call Lego Legos? They say Legos. Here's some Legos for Christmas. Because Lego doesn't actually have a plural, does it? It's just Lego. Well, we've got a few American watches, know, Jason. Yeah. Perhaps somebody could tell us why. Have you got another fact? Yes. I'm just thinking Legos. Every Christmas, Paul McCartney earns around a quarter of a million pounds for his song, Wonderful Christmas Time. A song which you throw here, a song which many consider to be one of his worst songs ever. It's now, I, as you know this... I'm probably one of the only people on the planet that actually doesn't like the Beatles or Paul McCartney or anything like that. Or Star Wars. Or All Star Wars. But that song is Christmas, isn't it? I do like that song, but many music critics panned it and have panned it over the years to say it's a rubbish commercial. I mean, it must Christmas be really song. rubbish to earn a quarter of a million yeah. pounds every single Christmas. I'd be happy if my worst song earned that much money. Imagine how much his best ones earn. So I wonder what Slade earns then. Mm, yeah, well, I saw an interview with Noddy Holder who said that he lives off of that check every year. So I reckon it's uh, more than £150. You know what we need to do? Write a Christmas song for next year. Get it on iTunes. They'll all buy it. Really? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, I think they might. Now, Greg, mm -hmm. we have got Jason's quick Christmas comedy clip. And what you didn't realise, we've done that seven times before this. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, have either of you two ever acted before? Oh, yes. I once did the caretaker at the National Theatre. Well, I expect you asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it, when it fell through the floor? It was hardly my fault. It was just a stage she was going through. <laughs> Christmas time. 
There's two and one. I'm gonna leave this in. Are you not? I am. I am. Okay. I'm just practicing for next year's Christmas single. All right. Tea and toast. You got anything to put on? What? Oh, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is really special this week because it's Christmas Eve. Ah! Um, we've got a turbo boost of the week. But we've got the ultimate Christmas turbo boost of the week, haven't we? Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's do it. it Greg for today because we need to go and do some Christmassy Christmas Eve things. Well no we don't really do it. We're gonna go and film New Year's Eve one because we're both seeing it. Oh is that a secret? Yes. Well, it won't be a secret when they see me in the same jumper. <laughs> <laughs> At least I brought something to change into. Oh by the way. Yeah it's nice that Jason. I'm alone. Where's that from? I'm not telling you. It's from it, a very exclusive uh, shop. Is, is it a cheap shop? It's called Primark. <laughs> Prime money. Prime money, yeah. Is that next to Berton? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that's it for our Christmas. Ow, that was the wood bit, that. You can't say that, <laughs> That's the Christmas Eve episode, Greg. Is it? 2016. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, still, we'll, be, back, we'll be back, because we're doing another one in a minute. Oh, uh, we're doing another one next week. Send us some stuff to tnt at totgoo.com turt at turtgoo.com I have to look then to see how to spell it doesn't have to be in capitals and if somebody did ask what it stands for well that stands for too old to grow up tea and toast you see Jason wanted to call it tea and toast originally but I I said I think that sounds ridiculous so we called it tea and toast I don't think he did so when it comes to selling this company I do get a percentage of £20. Ow! All that remains for us to say is oh! that we hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas and we'll see you again on New Year's Eve for another tea and toast. Well, we're going to film it now. Uh, but yeah, New Year's Eve. Have a great Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs>